What's up guys, Brian here, I'm back again. I've been going through a lot lately. You guys won't even imagine how much I've been going through and you know, I haven't even been able to sleep properly because there's been too many thoughts in my head and I wonder how it all fit in my brain, you know. It's been so much and you all have been wondering what team I'm playing for. I've seen your comments, you're like, Brian, what's going on? Are you going to sign with a team? And I'm gonna break it all down right now in this video I'm going to let you all know what really happened and I'll try to help you guys as well because what I went through is common it's sad but it's very common in football you know players go through this sad stuff and I'll just break it down and let you know that you have to be careful and let me start off by saying that last year I played in the Swedish Division 1 as you all know and the Swedish Division 1 is known for Swedish Division 3 because we got Super Etan and Allsvenskan which is the highest and second highest league in Sweden uh, so I played in Division 1 and you know my, my team went in bankrupt in December so I've been a free agent since January and I signed with an agent last year in August so you know um, January January came and I got I got one offer immediately and uh, you know I had a great season last year I scored 11 goals uh, it was my first season in division one and here I am now free agent because of my team went in bankrupt if they didn't go in bankrupt I would have two years left but here I am standing with a good season behind me and I'm a free agent you know I got offered immediately and I could have signed it but you know it was January and I thought to myself as well that I don't have to stress because the transfer window in Sweden is closing 31st of March and really there was no stress because I would like to find a team in in the middle of uh, February and uh, you know I was told by my agent that I shouldn't stress because he'll get me into better clubs uh, he'll get me better offers uh, better contracts so I put that contract on us on the side and then you know the time just went fast it was February already and uh, I only had that contract and uh, my agent talked to talk to some clubs and uh, I don't know how much of it was true but he told me that he talked to some clubs and you know media the media is calling me like Brian uh, what's going on are you going to sign with a club this and that you know and uh, because I was told so many things about so many clubs being interested in me I told the media the same thing I told them like yeah I got that club after me I could sign with that club they are interested etc etc but you know uh, I went on a trail and that was the only trade I went to in, in in three months and that's that's so bad you know I'm a free agent I should be at least on five trails but I was only in one trade in three months and I went on that trade I came back and uh, then I then I came back and uh, you know I asked my agent I always asked him like what's going on like I need to find a team now before it gets you know to the point where we go to stress so I would really like to find a team and every day I was the one who who tried to get 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 at him I mean I sent messages when I woke up before I went to bed you know and you know he just kept on telling me that don't worry you know we'll find you a club uh, I got good clubs in in different countries not only f in Sweden so you don't really have to worry so you know all I thought was you know okay I, I trust him you know I put my trust in him and I I believe him you know I, I know this this guy this this agent since I was 15 years old you know so there shouldn't be any problem but you know um I told my friends, you know, I I I will go to that team because my agent told me that, and you know, I was I was just fooled actually. I was fooled because what I noticed was that things didn't actually happen. Nothing really happened. I j I just went on one trail, and that was it. And then I went to Nike Academy. I joined them. I joined them for two three weeks. Then I came back to Sweden with uh, two and a half weeks left till the transfer window closes so i told my agent like we, we we need to make a plan like right now i have to go on trail with different teams i have to try out with different teams and then 
we'll see what teams are what teams are interested what teams uh, offer contracts and then we'll just you know make a decision from there but he just kept on telling me yeah yeah Brian I got this under control don't worry I got people calling me like my mentor from Nike calling me I got my friend calling me I got my 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 uncle calling me telling me Brian what's going on you know I got people caring about me asking me what's going on and I didn't see you know I was I was blind I was like dude don't worry I, I I'm, I'm 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 in control I'm talking to my agent like every day we got this under control don't worry so I, I started to get annoying when people asked me like Brian the transfer window is closing in one week what you gonna do I, I was like getting tired of hearing that I was like don't worry I'll get a club in the last minute my agent got this under control you know I put so much trust into this agent and you know and like I said I knew it since I was 15 years old so you know I never thought something like this would happen and you know he had other players that I that I that I know and he he got them into clubs so I started to think that you know he doesn't take me serious and I was wondering why because you know I, I had a good season last year why should it be so hard to to find a club for me you know I just want to play football come on and uh, you know, I started to get worried and you know the last couple of weeks like, like I couldn't sleep like for real guys I was staying up all night I couldn't sleep and there was one day I was feeling so bad actually I thought what's going on why, why is not anything happening uh, is there no club interested at all or what's what what's what's going on and you know uh, I, 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 I talked I talked to him at one point and I told him look it's like this I really need to get into a club now because it's only five days left of the transfer window and you know he starts telling me you know oh, don't worry about it. we got we got one team in Norway uh, you might go to Cyprus I got a text message that I might go to Cyprus and then he you know he told me things like even if we don't get you into a club by the by the 31st of March we might just wait until the summer and get you to a team abroad during the summer and I was like <laughs> I actually I, I would like to sign with a team now because I can't wait till the summer first of all I want to play football I can't wait five months to play with a team and second of all I need money like honestly I need money I need to play and I need money you know I'm living at home I need to help my family with this and that you know and you know I just I just can't wait till the summer so you know I got one club uh, calling me actually they did call my agent because I don't know how many clubs called my agent and he turned them down I don't know like it could have been five or four clubs who actually called my agent but he turned them down if they would have called me maybe it would have been better you know and that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to come to what what I'm trying to come to is that maybe it's better off without an agent at this level that I'm on right now you know maybe it would be better if I was alone handling my business on my own got the clubs calling me instead of calling an agent who I actually thought were going to to make it happen for me but you know it was a lot of a lot of talk and you know it was a lot of talk and no action at all actually so you know I got this club calling me asking me like Brian we would like to meet you and uh, would you like to come uh, and I was like should I come with my agent or should I come alone he was like you won't need to come with your agent just come alone so I went there you know I thought I got nothing to lose I'll just go there see what they offers and see what we what we can make uh, what deal we can make so I went there and it sounded okay and you know this is a club who I know since uh, since I started playing football for that club and I played for that club in a youth level so it all sounded great I had a good conversation and it all was fine you know it all was fine and uh, don't 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 uh, don't uh, don't underestimate you know your own qualities because I made a I made a good deal on my own you know and uh, I, I I told my agent I was on uh, I was on uh, a meeting with a club and he was like yeah all right all right but I got this club for you so you know I, I, I laughed to myself you know I was like all right let's see what he got now you know and I got my deal in my pocket already so I was just waiting one day to see what he can do like if he doesn't do anything in this uh, on that day I'll just turn it down and just sign with the club I had a meeting with 